Why, sir? You know, it hangs around the charts for a while, and then, uh, and then it starts to dwindle down, and then you have a record release party in town, and of course all the radio stations in town start playing again, so yeah. you go to this, and weasel its way back up. You guys are smart. Well, uh, we're smart. You know, we have the video release party, which are... <laughs> yeah. Is there a video, though? No, but <laughs> no. we'll eat part But when, you know, we could do that in three months, too. Okay. Everything's set three months apart. I see. Um, now, there was some filming for a video. This just struck me now. At uh, the Amnesty thing, you guys yeah. did a bit of taping for a video. What happened to that? Uh, that was just a joke. That was just to get people to dance lots. Yeah, it was great. Like, uh, <laughs> to keep the audience, because the buses were all leaving. They were all yeah. leaving. <laughs> well, you got to hang around. we got the video shoot. No, actually, we did plan on doing a video. Uh, but the guys who took it said, oh, sorry, guys, it really doesn't uh, look very good. And so we're going to have to try again later. Well, I certainly hope it was their fault. I thought the show was great. Well, yeah, we thought we played okay. We did our bit. <laughs> our hair was a mess. Those pesky 1972 video cameras. It was like, <laughs> <laughs> our hair was a mess. <laughs> so this record release party is coming up this weekend at the Downstairs Club. Anything uh, spectacular we can look forward to? Not the same. <laughs> <laughs> Have to show up on the Friday. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, we've always got things, you know, pulling out of the Up our sleeves. Mm-hmm. Stuff like that. Okay. Now you were at, um, was it Jam 88? I, why do I want to call it that? It was Jam That's 80. because it was called that. Oh. <laughs> it was for that very peculiar reason. I always think of those uh, big summer festivals, and they were always Jam something, so I wasn't sure. Yeah, Cal that. Jam. Yeah, okay. So you <laughs> guys jam. were there, and how was it? Well, it was interesting. Like, we got there, and we thought there was going to be, you know, amps on stage and drums and guitars galore, and uh, we'd just get up when our name was called and, you know, play. As it turned out... Uh, I go, well, uh, where, where do we get the guitars? And they go, which guitars? Oh, you're, did you <laughs> bring them? They said, no. He goes, well, ask one of the bands after you can borrow theirs. I asked them, no, we didn't bring any guitars. They're supplied. And so I'm like going, oh, geez, I have a surprise for you guys. <laughs> <laughs> so everyone's like running around, sitting <laughs> on with guitars. Oh, and I got to say to this uh, this bozo guy, like, I go, excuse me, can I borrow your guitar? My band's going to be on in a few minutes. He says, not this baby, man, not this baby. <laughs> 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 And he didn't even get to play, so I should have said, look, you want your guitar played tonight? <laughs> Better give it to me. <laughs> we'll, we'll play He's your in the washroom, man. <laughs> Practicing. But we had fun. Oh, but the guitars we did borrow, there's another story there. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, this is great. <laughs> we, we go on stage, there's this band before us. Uh, I don't know what they were called, you know what they were called? Well, no, they were just a band. I think they were a scheduled band. They had, like, three or four bands that sort of started off that, you know, obviously weren't jamming. They were like, you know, <laughs> you take a solo bit and dirty, dirty, dirty. <laughs> Like, they were good. They obviously, you know, yeah, not right. that we weren't. 19 minutes song. So anyways, <laughs> we borrowed their guitars. They had straps about this long. Obviously a bit of uh, you know, Jerry, Jerry Marsden uh, uh, I don't know, following or something. So anyways, we borrowed their guitars, and we're like this. Oh, yeah, we get up there, and we say, oh, let's really kick bum guys, because these guys are all playing for the jazz influence stuff. And so here we are trying to kick bomb playing guitars up under our necks like this and <laughs> getting feedback. Yeah, I it was a great experience, eh? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was fun. It was fun. Uh, yeah. We couldn't figure out how to tune that guitar. They had those weird little fine tuning things there. And yeah, town crier rule, never play a guitar that was <laughs> made after 1978. <laughs> and uh, they didn't have those. Yeah, it would be 68, but we can't afford them. Oh. <laughs> I see. Well, maybe with the strap so short, you should have played it like Albert Collins. You know how he just sticks the one or, or sticks it over his shoulder. He doesn't even put it around his neck. Have you ever seen him? Oh, it's just sort of one shoulder hanging. Yeah, out. it's pretty wild. But that's still that would have been like a like a purse. I thing. Like <laughs> <him. laughs> <laughs> so, any other great stories from Jam '88? Um, good crowd, see. enthusiastic. Yeah, actually, uh, well, our first song we were terribly out of tune because we were just oh yeah, we found out they only had one guitar amp and then two guitars they had to plug in, so we were hustling about. <laughs> Finally got everything plugged in, started playing, hadn't even worried about tuning. We just figured, well, these guys, you know, they're just playing, they should be in tune, but they, I guess they got banged around in their cases. So we had a tune. We tuned for the second song and kicked bum, and oh. the crowd seemed <laughs> appreciative, right? yeah. I must say. So who <laughs> else was there? Other than we left right after. John had a headache. And I had a, I had a really morning. bad headache and had uh, <laughs> lots of things to do in the morning, you know, so... Uh, <laughs> We're sitting here in the string so close, eh? Yeah. Well, yeah, that's what I was saying earlier. It was the first time I could actually feel my guitar playing through my larynx. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh, hold me right. They should try and record it that way. They stick the mic down your throat and listen to it. I don't know. It would nah, be, uh, I don't know if that would work, really. It would probably too much muffling. And oh, it could be. Anyway, uh, what are your plans for the summer and stuff? You know, uh, are you going to go out and... Uh, oh. 
barbecue. Mm -hmm. Big blonde hair. You're not gonna <laughs> tour with the album or anything? Um, well, actually, that's we have a few things in the works. We're, we've been getting a lot of our charts back since we put the record out, and uh, we're doing well in Saskatoon. But just to make it sort of uh, economically feasible, we want to sort of find a few spots to be here in Saskatoon. <laughs> yeah. And Saskatoon and elsewhere. Yeah. We're doing well down east, too. Saskatoon. Well, let's go home. <laughs> <laughs> and this mega Hertz rent truck there. Yeah. And there's a funny story, if you want a good story. <laughs> <laughs> we, went, we went down to Toronto uh, a little while ago, and um, the, uh, the Whirly Gigs, who's another, they're another band around town, promised us their van. They the worst van in the city. The Widowmaker. <laughs> yeah, that <laughs> That's one. That's what yeah. they call it, yeah. That's the one. And um, anyway, the carburetor fell out or something uh, <laughs> the night before. So there we are the day that we're supposed to go to Toronto, uh, scrambling around for a van, and all they had left, you know, we went over to, we called everyone, and no, we don't have any vans on one day notice. Were you crazy? So we went to, we went to, to uh, Hertz, I guess it is, or someplace on Bank Street, and we got this 27-wheeler. <laughs> <laughs> So there, there we are in this huge truck, and uh, we put all of our equipment in, and there's enough room for like 38 people, you know. Well, you should have called some people. Uh, well, we tried to call some people, but I mean, we only had 38 minutes before we had to leave, and people don't want to go. It, it, it did well, prove that uh, what the van rental guys say, that yes, indeed, we were crazy. Yes. <laughs> Next time you can take my car, and wherever you take it, well, we leave, leave it there. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> but we need more room than that, you see. Oh, well, that's... You've got to carry equipment and beer and boys and but we did invent new sports and stuff like that like um truck surfing truck surfing yeah right? well as long as you had a good time <laughs> well we didn't say that <laughs> 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 that's horrible right. that was a headache and we it's spent so much money in it <laughs> well we're glad you came in we'll be at your bash this weekend oh show us the album cover oh, yeah, so we know yeah. why we're going out to this party the downstairs club this friday and saturday night the 25th and the 25th that's, that's john yeah, and that's, and that's, that's Jeff. Me, looking somber. There's Mike. Mike and Ian, and they're Ian. not here. And Maybe Ian will have his hair standing up on end for you. Yeah, the, uh, the uh, angel. Yeah. So will Mike. <laughs> Mike, Mike always does, though. Yeah. He well, plugs in at night. Okay. We said. We're glad you came in. And well, we'll see you on Friday. At the downstairs Friday. Town Cry weekend. Okay. Thanks. Thank you. Okay. We have.